Hi, uh, I'm Hafiz Bajahad Hassan, a PhD student at Oslo Metropolitan University, Norway. I'm working on European Union project MagSafe. This paper is about the feasibility study of multi wavelength optical probe to analyze magnesium implant degradation effect. Near infrared spectroscopy can be applied for spectrographic analysis. It has been reported that during the magnesium implants degradation in vivo, the hydrogen gas cavity is produced. Understanding the nearest measurement on the implant tissue interface for hydrogen gas formation as part of magnesium degradation is essential for interpreting the biodegradation of magnesium-based implants. For this purpose, we have introduced novel multi-wavelength and multi-distance near-infrared optical probe that can assess the state of magnesium implants degradation when in contact with biological tissues. A tissue mimicking phantom to mimic the optical properties of biological tissues helps to investigate the changes in reflectance spectra due to the bubble formation at implant tissue interface. And uh, we have used magnesium and titanium discs for evaluating the implant's interaction. We have observed the reflection in tissue mimicking phantom containing magnesium disc confirms the presence of hydrogen bubbles around them. This is an illustration of optical probe setup. The multi-wavelength optical probe working range is from 600 nanometer to 1050 nanometer, and the multi-distant with depth selectivity of three millimeter and four millimeter is an effective tool to monitor the bubble effect on different samples. The design pro optical probe light source are strictly compliant with the threshold to ensure the operation safety not to damage tissues and uh, it can target different region of interest. Scattering is in the forward direction due to the bubbles around the implant gel interface. As in this uh, first figure, we target the implant tissue interface. Uh, it is clear that the reflection on magnesium alloy is 60% higher as compared to other samples while calculating the mean absolute error by taking the reference uh, as a control or by, by taking the control as a reference. On the other hand, when we are far from the implant tissue interface on the second figure, the reflection was higher for magnesium alloy sandpaper because more bubbles were presented there as compared to the magnesium alloy, other magnesium alloy. Um, we have used principal component analysis to analyze the reflectance spectra. The data collected from two different source detector distances, mainly six millimeter and eight millimeter segregated effectively into two groups. And uh, it can also use for um, during and after implantation process for tissue oxygenation as well. In conclusion, the influence of bubbles at the implant tissue interface due to the scattering in biological tissues is comparatively analyzed using the developed optical probe and tissue mimicking phantom. It opens up the possibility of using the developed optical probe to differentiate the depth of near infrared light in the vicinity of the implant tissue interface. And uh, thank you uh, for listening my presentation.